So let's talk about bar charts. They're a fantastic visual and you're probably using them within your reports, but the native data labels can leave a bit to be desired because essentially the data label sits directly in the center of the height of whatever that bar is. Now, when you have a wide table with a lot of columns and there's a lot of variants, your data labels can be all over the place. And if the bar is actually too small, that data label can disappear. Well, today we'll learn how to position your data labels using some DAX directly above the bar so that they're consistent and that they're always visible. Another benefit is instead of having just one data point, that can be a different number. So that can allow you to have more insight out of your visual um, with relative ease. It's actually really simple to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we have our bar charts and we can see that the data labels are consistently above or in this case where it's vertical, um, it's on the side of that visual. Now we can have multiple data labels. So we have our volume and then we have our percentage. This could be the volume instead. And if we want to turn that off, we could as well. It's completely up to you. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the three types of visuals you can use this with are clustered bar chart, clustered column chart, and then the line and clustered column chart. So let's just select one of those. And then for our X axis, if we bring in ship mode, and then I'm going to bring in a very simple sum of our quantity. And we can see we have our columns and if we turn the data labels on our values as well. But what we have to do is get a consistent set of values to sit above the maximum value here. So we have 36K and we want our bars to sit slightly above this value here. So to do that, we need to create another measure. And in that measure, what we're saying, we're saying calculate the maximum quantity and then but do that at a shipping method level. So the maximum quantity that was sold split by our shipping method. And then what we're doing, like we're getting that maximum value, we're then just timesing that by a slight number above that so that it sits above. So to do that, if I bring this into our chart, we can see that the maximum value was 36K. You know what, if I remove that, that should demonstrate that. We can see it's 36K, but then we want to multiply that so we can get the consistent values slightly above. And now that we have these bars, what we have to do is then um, overlap them. So if we go to columns, select all layout and then overlap. And then if we start overlapping it and then flip that, if we go to all the way to 100%, we now have our secondary bar uh, behind that. If we take a look at our data labels, though, this is using the maximum value that we've calculated here. We can adjust that by going to data labels. And then instead of uh, adjusting the quantity sum uh, label, if we go to data label, so that's our measure. And then if we select the value, instead of using the data uh, label uh, value that we have, we can change that to our percentage measure or the quantity. So if I change that to quantity, we have the quantity, so it's the same. If I use another measure, it will place the other values. But we can see that this bar is still visible. So it's a very simple trick. If we go back to our columns and select our data label bar and set the transparency to zero, we can see that disappears. And I've made a little mistake where I forgot to change the display units to so change that to none. And we can see that that's a percentage and that sits consistently above. It's really simple to do. And if we want to use that again, we can do so. But this time uh, we could use a different chart type. So if we want it vertically, we can see once again, uh, data label bar. And then where are my values for this one? So let's just remove that, bring that back in. And then if I go to quantity sum, and then, or not that, let's change that to percentage, display units none, and then turn off the transparency and the values are white for some reason. There we go. And now we can see our values. So we can see that it's consistently spread out across our bars. Really simple to implement. Um, it's an option when you have multiple data points, uh, this bar chart now goes from a standard visual that just has the quantity to now a a visual that has both we can actually see the percentage breakdown and see the values as well so we don't have to use multiple visuals it's really simple and powerful to do it's the power bi guide if this video was useful please do 